What up, what it is, what's happening YouTube? It's your boy Certified and I'm back with another video for y'all. If this is your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button ASAP. Um, if you've been following me, um, you know that on my last video, I did the wrap on the hood and the, um, the roof on my car and I had to order some extra material because I did not have enough material to finish up the trunk. So, boom, got the extra material in here. Um, got a couple of rags, um, some alcohol and some, uh, this is the uh, clean slate spray from um, Chemical Guys. So that stuff actually works pretty good. Like you can literally spray that stuff on your car and as you're wiping, you can just feel the difference on how it's stripping all the waxes and sealants and everything that you got on the car away. So um, I wouldn't suggest using that stuff as like a car wash or anything like that because you you definitely need to um, uh, wax or put some kind of protective over it um after you're done using it don't don't use it at like a quick detailer so we're gonna get this thing going about to head to my homeboy g stacks house um again put his link right here g stacks underscore 392 um he's the rap man he also does does lights so if y'all want to do any anything to your car or anything like that make sure y'all hit his ig up he does some great work um but we're gonna head over there i'm gonna help him out with this stuff and we're gonna get this wrap completed so enjoy All right, we made it. Well, I'm saying we made it like I drove with somebody. I made it, but made it to his house. Look at the beauty over there. That scatty looking good over there. That boy done cut his dreads. Looking like a little boy. Right, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> look, he look cute. <laughs> oh man. Nah, he about to move to whip out the garage so we can get this thing going. So I'm gonna have to take this uh, spoiler off I'm gonna take this spoil off right here, and then we're gonna have to take this um, center light out and the uh, timeout stop light out, and then prep the surface um, with the clean slate and then some alcohol wipes, and then it should be a real simple, real simple wrap job. The only hard curves on this area is in this area right here. It may seem simple, but it can tend to uh, it can tend to wrinkle in those areas sometimes. So. And then, of course, this piece down here, that's going to be the easiest part. So shouldn't take too long. But I also have a headlight bulb that has, well, actually, the bracket on the HID bulb that holds the bulb in broke on me. Um, so I have a piece to replace that. And I'm gonna hope, hopefully, I'm going to try to dig into the um, demon eyes and my fog lights as well to figure out what the wiring issue is because those done stop working on me as well. So trying to get the car back right, just a couple of necessities that need to happen, but we definitely gonna get this wrap finished first and before we tackle the rest. So stay tuned. Got everything removed. I swear this car looks so weird without that shit in it. Lights gone, no spoiler. You cannot have this body style and not have a spoiler. I'm sorry, for those that don't have a spoiler, it just looks weird. Get you a spoiler. But we're gonna clean this, prep the surface, clean all this stuff up. Um, especially down here in the crease, it's real important when you do wraps that in the areas where you're gonna do the tuck at, that you clean those areas as well so it doesn't lift up on you and start peeling. So we're gonna clean this area up and get this wrap started. All right, as y'all can see, the weather definitely is not holding up for us, but it's all good because we're inside the garage. So we got the bottom piece done. Everything's tucked, neat cut lines. Um, all we got left right now is just to trim the edges on this area. And um, well, we're not gonna trim them right now. We're actually gonna go ahead and finish this bottom piece out. And then the only thing that's left is to trim it and then reinstall the light and the spoiler. Um, and then next, we're gonna use the rest of the material to wrap um, these little pillars right here, because Chargers are notorious for starting to um, peel over time, especially when they're old. Um, sunwear and all that stuff, they start to peel or fade on these pillars. A lot of people tend to get them painted, but I'm gonna just wrap them just because it's a lot cheaper that way. So I'm gonna show y'all once we're done what she looks like. And we are done with the trunk. I would take it outside so y'all can see it in the light, but it is still coming down pretty hard out there as y'all can see um but it definitely completes the look I'll give y'all a close-up
That looks really good. I actually need to redo the, um, the wrap on this. I actually have some extra material, but it's starting to come up on these corners, but gotta redo that. <clears throat> Doesn't really bother me too much right now because it's a really, real easy part to do. Um, but I'll probably get it done next time I um, get a chance to do it. I forgot the material in storage, but <clears throat> that's the bottom piece. And that's it. Got it on the trunk, the roof, and the hood, of course. And now we're working on the, uh, the door pillars. The back side is almost done. Got some minor tweaks to do on this one. Same with the other side. <clears throat> So yeah, we are almost done. Then I gotta flip her around and fix this dig on headlight that I've been having an uh, issue with for the past two months. I've just been too lazy to take the front bumper off and fix it. So I'm gonna get it done today. Again, this is the man in charge. He look like a completely different person since the last video <laughs> with his new mushroom cut. I'll show <laughs> car is complete. Um, rain is just drizzling out here right now. I guess I can show you in the daylight. The wrap is on there. Can't really tell just because of the weather and the lighting right now. And the door pillars are done as well on both sides. So now it's time to tackle these uh, headlight, this headlight bracket that broke on me and to figure out these demon eyes. So for those that don't know how to take off the front bumper of these chargers, um, there's these little panels up here that normally um, sit on here as such. You literally just pull up on them as there are little clips underneath that hold those on. You pull those up and then you have one, two, three, and four little um, pop clips that you have to remove. And they look like so. These little pop clips, remove those. You have one 10 millimeter bolt behind the little fender liner back here. I already took it out, but it's right in here. You remove that. You can just pull this back. And then down here, you have a couple of uh, like push clips like this that you have to remove. Um, and that's it on the side. Both sides are the same. And then underneath the car, um, can barely see it, but it's like in this area, you have a total of two, four, six, seven screws. These are um, nine, five thirty seconds, I believe. Did I say five thirty seconds on this thing? Yeah. Um, actually, no, nine thirty seconds. Those are nine thirty second screws. You take those out, and then you literally just pull on the side. Let's see if I can do it with one hand by holding the camera. Pull back on it. Boom. Pull back on it to get it free. Do the same on the other side. Like such. And then you can literally take this whole piece off. Be careful because um, it does latch in up here. So you can pull this up on this side and then it drops down just like such. But again, be careful because you do have fog lights that are hooked up behind this bumper. So don't go crazy snagging on the uh, bumper. As soon as it comes off, make sure if those fog lights get disconnected before you do any type of uh, um, maintenance that requires you to completely remove the bumper. I won't officially need to remove it all the way. I just needed enough clearance so I can get to the uh, bolts on the headlights, which are one, two, and then underneath there's one back there and one up here to remove the headlights. And that's pretty much it. All right, and that's what it looks like without the front bumper on. So the demon eyes are installed up here. There's a wire running there. And I think I was having an issue with one of these uh, clips right here. Um, not really uh, seating properly, I think. If this thing will focus, but um, 
one of these wires or one of these uh, connectors, I think are a little corroded and it's messing up the connection. So I'm gonna try to see if I can clean off a little bit of that corrosion and put some uh, dialectic grease on it. Hopefully that'll fix it. Um, if not, then I'm gonna have to um, probably order a whole new wiring harness for the, um, the demon eyes. So demon, high, demon eyes will be coming back in the headlights but that's gonna be a while before I do that, but they will be coming back in here because I do wanna get my headlights customized again. Um, like I used to have it. If you don't know what it looked like, if you scroll, uh, go onto my channel and go to my very first video that I launched, when I launched my channel, where I did a full walk around on Cersei, um, I did put a shot in there of what the headlights were, did look like before my accident um, because these obviously are brand new since the accident and um, I want to do the same thing again that's pretty much blacking out the um, the chrome ring around the high beams blacking out all of this and then putting the demon eyes in there again but the only addition that I'm gonna do this time is to get um, etched lenses but I want the clear um, clear lenses um, to replace these um, just because they look best when um, they're etched so, but that, like I said, that's down the line. So right now I'm just gonna fix this headlight bracket that's in my driver's side headlight and try to figure out this wiring issue. And that, that'll do it. She should be right back to normal again after that. These are the little clips that um, go around the HID bulbs to hold them in. For those that have ever changed their HID bulbs, know how much of a pain in the ass it is to get these things off <laughs> without breaking them. And that's what I did on mine. As you can see, I didn't take this off right now. This is why, why I'm replacing them because mine is unfortunately broken, as you can see. Um, so <laughs> I need to put the new bracket in. I think I'm gonna put some grease on it um, just to kind of help with future removal and replacements. So yeah, that's the bracket that I had to replace on my HIDs. All done. She's back to normal operating condition. This light was super dim, um, just because the bracket broke and it pretty much pointed the the uh, the bulb all the way down in the housing, which made it appear like the LED was going bad. Not the LED, the HID was going bad. So it is all back right now. Time to put this thing back together and make call this a wrap. All right, y'all. So. Cersei is officially put back together. I finally got my demon eyes back working and my fog lights. This wiring issue was driving me nuts, but they are back in effect. As y'all can see, my headlights are finally back in order. Brackets are fixed to where my headlights don't look flicked when I'm riding down the street. And she's back to hit the road. The main thing was to get this wrap done, but since y'all see the weather, is still not cooperating with us. So um, might as well made it into a, a car maintenance day. So I don't have anything else that I need to do on this car. She is back to 100% ready to go condition. Thanks to this man again for the yeah. rapage help. No if you want to shout it out for him again. Uh, please thanks underscore 392 on Instagram. And uh, make sure you check out Street Fighters Jacks on Instagram too. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Make sure y'all check that guy out and make sure y'all follow us on our club page. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all like the contents of this video, make sure y'all smash that like button. Again, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button as well. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any exclusive content. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have a good day.